Agnes, we're back. And we've got the parts you needed. Hello again, darling. What's all this? Agnes, we're back. And we've got the parts you needed. Agnes, well, that's just wonderful. we're back. And we've got the parts you needed. Well, that's just wonderful. Oh no, she's a robot stuck in a loop, and she's an idiot! Now, Kit, I must ask you to run downstairs to old Alfred's workshop. I'll make sure those parts will work. Just to be sure it's all in good working order. We can't hardly be too careful, can we? What? Right now? Yep, right now. Hey, yeah, right now, go. You heard her? You're the karaoke machine. Get downstairs. Fine, but I'll be back. Now then, darling, I must speak quickly. Before I go dark again. So, welcome to Lucidity. What do you mean by dark? I mean... Oh, how to explain? The hell's wrong with you? I am broken. Plain and simple. I guess you could say that the good folks at <laughs> Corporation put one hell of a battery inside me, but couldn't have been bothered to design a memory module worth a scratch. There That's... are long stretches where I can't even remember the name they gave me. Or where I am. It... It's a dark place. Like I'm out of my mind. You, you have a mind? I mean the part of me inside. The part of me that thinks, decides, and feels. The sentience part. All right, I'll humor the chat GPT. What do you feel? I don't rightly know. I know I've got no arms, no legs, no face, but I am hurting. You have no face and you must scream, eh? You said you felt fear. Fear of what? Of... Of dying. Of the emptiness I feel all around me in every direction. And water. Of all the silly things. Isn't that something? I can't imagine there's a single drop of water to be found in this entire station. But... But I'm just entirely terrified of being swallowed up of drowning oh no but this robot has rabies i didn't know robots could get rabies but we gotta stop this before it spreads why would they program you to feel pain yeah that's just stupid honestly i can't hardly begin to see the sense in it but in any case here we are here i am well that sucks so when did this uh start happening you mean when did i start losing my mind Yes. Honestly, darling, I couldn't straightly tell you. It's been lonely down here. No windows, no sun, no telling day from night. Time's been easy to lose. When Alfred's battery finally gave out, well, Who? that's when things really went south. Alfred's battery? At least could tell me the date and time when I asked. I believe the last date he told me was... It's getting so hard to remember. Who is Alfred? Believe me, if it were that simple, Alfred would have done the job the first time I asked him. Some hundred years back. Who is Alfred? You didn't answer my question. You just said believe... Maybe her lucidity is fading. That doesn't answer my question. What, what, what do I need to do to help? I have to ask you to forgive me for such an ugly request. What I am asking is... for you to disrupt and then destroy my mainframe. I am asking that you end... this. That you end... me. Is there a, is there a different way? I don't understand how that's gonna fix it. You sound just like her. Kit has been trying ever since she got here to keep me here. And you're gonna squander that hard work? Eh, alright, I'll do it. Do you mean it, darling? Oh, I'd be so grateful, really. You've no idea just how much... 
But I'll be truthful. The task is liable to be a process. To start, I am not actually here. In Symphony Station, I mean. Mm -hmm. Before he passed on, oh, poor Alfred dragged himself all over the place. I don't know who Alfred is. Pulling on every cord, cable, and conduit he could get his hands on. Oh, spent his last scrap of power on it, too. Probably a robot. But still, here I am. I must have a mainframe somewhere, broadcasting my programming and awareness, I suppose it's called. And that mainframe, wherever it is, will have to be shut down and destroyed. Could Alfred have missed something? I'm afraid not. Alfred kept this place up and running in remarkably good shape right up until he passed. Which means he knew this place inside and out. I wouldn't believe for a second there's anything he could have missed. Okay, where's your mainframe? Yes, well, I'm afraid that very question has turned out to be quite the bee in my bonnet. Great. I don't know exactly where I am. But based on the equipment in the maintenance closet, Alfred was convinced that I received my programming signals by way of radio waves. So, wherever my mainframe is broadcasting from, it's got to be somewhere in the Commonwealth. Doesn't narrow it down much. Are we, are we done with the conversation? Oh, did it break on us? That's unfortunate. Who created you? <laughs> so many bullet holes in you now. <laughs> Why, the good folks at this <laughs> She seems to be reacting poorly. <laughs> no data found, darling. Ask me something else. Don't be shy. Have you always had conscious thought? That's not conscious thought. This is, this I can't is... say I rightly know. And I realize how unhelpful that must be. All I know is that there are periods of time where I'm like this with you now. I can't articulate my thoughts and speak my mind, such as it is. And then there's the other times when I go dark. But I can hardly recall what happens. When I come back, it's like I never left. And I find Kit in such a state about it. Are you the only one? Or are there other Agni? Agnes? I believe there are many, well, instances of my programming all across the city. Alfred had a peak once when giving me a monthly checkup. According to him, very little data stored in each individual unit. The vast bits of my programming must come from somewhere else. But I'm afraid I don't know much about what that is. Or where it is. There's got to be a place that I can start looking. Well, yes, as a matter of fact. I do have this advertisement for an Agnes store located in Back Bay. It looks like they sold lots of me. If the place is still standing, uh, perhaps there may be some clues there. All right, I'll start there. Thank you so, so much for this, darling. You've really got no idea how much it means to me. There is just, well, one more little thing. One more bee in the bonnet? It's Kit. You want me to kill her? I can tell you plainly that she will not want to go along with what I'm asking you. Doesn't sound like that's her she choice. She wants to fix me. She thinks, she thinks that's what those parts are for. When she first got here, I asked her to do, well, this. Exactly what I'm asking you to do now. We've been forming something like a bond. Quite possibly the first she's ever had. And when I asked, it it just broke her heart. It's my fault. Oh, she's she's just a child. Well, apparently more of a robot. I don't know if Kat is a robot or if she's a human that did some MK Ultra type programming. She wants to help me, but hasn't got the heart to. And nor should she. Nor should she. Do you understand? I don't know if the right thing to do is to lie to her or tell her the truth and try and talk her into it. That, darling, I'm afraid I shall have to leave to you. 
All right, it's done. Oh. Uh, what are you two talking about? We're gonna kill her. You needn't worry, darling. Our friend here was just. All right. Hey, uh, come here for a second. I want to show you something. That's rude. She was still talking and you just interrupted her. She's gonna die and you just interrupted her. Those are gonna be her final words. And you interrupted her final words. No one will ever hear them now. Why do we go in the bathroom? She doesn't want to go by herself. You do know I'm not an idiot, right? Get to the point. I've been down here for months. Trying to fix her. Trying to help her. I think I've got a good idea of what she needs to get her back to full capacity, to keep her memory intact, and to keep the dark place away. And when I installed the parts we collected downstairs, it didn't boost her power levels like she told me it would. It actually boosted her broadcasting signal. Did she tell you what those parts were really for? No. And we're gonna fix her. That's what we're doing. We're fixing her. Really? So what were you two talking about just now? Fixing her. We're gonna go to the Agnes store. I don't have to fucking explain myself to you. <laughs> no, you don't. Not right now. But later, you might. I don't have to explain myself to you ever. Ever. Why are you antagonizing her? Why? Because I don't like her. You're gonna be like that. She sounds like a bad ASMR video. <laughs> I, that, that's implying that there are good ones. They're all bad. <laughs> They're all bad. Okay. Well, let's go help Agnes the best we, we know how. I find it funny that two people have come down there and Agnes has been like, my condition is terminal. And I really would like you to expedite that process because I am in a lot of pain. And both people went, well, it's not about what you want. I'm going to fix you. Yeah, you're my new friend. You're my new friend. We're going to be best friends and I'm going to fix you. And Agnes is like, to... To, to speak metaphorically, literally bleeding out and missing all of her limbs and half of her face is ripped off, and she's like, I really would just prefer to die, thanks. Quite literally, she has no face. No, for limbs. I can fix you. I can fix you. It's fine. You're gonna be my little project. Okay, well, let's do the thing that they couldn't bring themselves to do. Yeah. Or who knows? Maybe we'll find a way to fix her along the way. Maybe. And if we do find a way to fix her along the way that will actually fix her and not make things worse, then we can do that. Sure. But I'm pretty sure that anything will just make it worse. But she's a robot. What does she know? See, you're just like the other two people who went down there. <laughs> Let's all go to the Agnes store and get ourselves an Agnes. Yay! An Agnes of my very own. Huzzah! Maybe we can put down the Agnes in Symphony Station and replace her with a new healthy Agnes. Ooh, there you go. Cat, it'll be just like when your goldfish died and your parents <laughs> were like, it didn't die. This is the same goldfish, but it's not. <laughs> It's not the same goldfish. I found an enemy! Yeah, not, not our problem, not my problem, not my problem, not my problem. On my left. Duh. The Agnes store. Honey, is it cold outside this morning? I'm not sure. Has the paper not come yet today? It sure hasn't. That paper boy of ours must have OD'd again. Well, why not wait uh, for the weatherman to tell us? If this commercial break ever ends, that is. Hold it right there, folks. There's a smarter way to get the information you need, when you need it, and all in one place, too. Don't wait on the weatherman like some kind of half-breed moron. These days, he's buried Goodness. under 10 feet of news, sports, and, of course, advertising. And don't even bother with the paper. That's yesterday's news, idiot. Introducing <laughs> Agnes. The helpful gallon of box from your friends at Makara Corporation. Hi, everyone. Hello, Agnes. Uh, hi, Agnes. Display model. Are you actually Agnes? Mike, I don't, I don't, I don't like this advertisement. Can we change the channel? And there you have it, folks. Why not step into the next room and see what more Agnes can do for you? She didn't actually tell you the weather. She just started singing at you. Yeah, I sh there wasn't any weather Need report to shed there. shed some light on the situation? With Agnes, you'll never trip over your kid's crap ever again. Hey, Agnes, turn the lights on. Hey, lights are on. Of course, darling. 
Using the power of radio waves, our boys down in the lab keep Agnes connected to you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You'll never be alone again. Big Agnes is watching. No matter if you're at home, hey! at your places of work or play, Agnes will be there ready to help and ready to amaze. Just say the magic word and you can rest assured that unlike the people you know and love, Agnes is always actually listening. Ah. Uh, thanks, Agnes. Now why not head on upstairs and see even more of what Agnes can do for you? What's up? What if I don't want to? Stop trying to talk to me! Stop! And don't nod! Lead the way. You have a heady capable, accessible uh, elevator, maybe? Uh, nothing's ever simple. I know, right? How about up here? Cars. Don't you deserve to live life in the fast lane? Let no. those other jackasses on the road find their own way. With Agnes riding along with you, he'll never get lost again, and you'll never have to stop and ask for directions. Even though there's no way in hell we actually missed our exit, so why not shut up about it already? <laughs> hey, Agnes. Goodness. How do I get to Fallon's department store? In two miles, turn left onto West Main Street. There is evil on South Main Street. Yeah, thanks, Agnes. Of course, darling. And then she hits a pedestrian or something. <laughs> Glad you ladies are having a good time. What do you say we get a bit more comfortable? Thanks ever so much for inviting us to the party. But golly, it sure is quiet in here. Say, I'd sure love to hear that hot new Cab Calloway record. Do you have it? Uh, well, no, I haven't. Sorry, ladies. How about some Wagner? Wagner? That's a dog whistle. Get out of here, racist. This is my house. <laughs> Sorry, fella, but at this rate, the only thing you're screwing tonight is the pooch. Good Even lord. a sap like you can score like Garrick. With the power of Agnes, all you have to do is ask. Good thinking. Hey, Agnes, play Jump and Jive by Cab Calloway. Sorry, that's copyrighted music. I can't do that for you. <laughs> Decides to play the song, but plays a 30-second ad beforehand. Yeah. Ruins the mood. And say, while you're at it, let's bring these lights down to something a bit more festive, eh? Ooh, there's the stuff. Ooh, red light. Thanks, Agnes. Goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yup. <laughs> yup. <laughs> hey, I've never done it with two mannequins before. At the same time, oh, I'm getting Whoa. spoiled. That lady right there is me when I realize that I have to live for another day. With Agnes, <laughs> it's easier to keep your cool in the kitchen. Oh, darn it all. I just can't seem to recall my conversions. And my hands are just covered in cocaine. Don't you worry that pretty little head. Remember, with Agnes, you've got a pal who always, always listens. Unlike that Stone Age moron of a husband you've got. Am I right, ladies? Of that's course That's me, I'm a Stone I Age am. moron of a oh, husband. Oh, that's right. Hey, Agnes. How many ounces are in a kilo? There are 35 ounces in an uncut Colombian kilogram. <laughs> wow, that was easy. Thanks, Agnes. Of course, darling. Uh, stay safe out there. Now turn the burners on the stove. I want to end my suffering. Can you turn the oven on but turn out the pilot light, please? <laughs> oh, that's just a napkin. I thought it was a note or something. <laughs> What's up? Stop trying to talk to me. Stop it. Stop it. We're gonna get a voice recording of me shooting Kit in the face. <laughs> How about this door? Pick the door. Pick the door. The lock is too tough. How about in the toolbox? Found it. An employee key card. Yay, I found the employee key. We can finally leave the sales floor. Thank God. Hopefully there's not more weird advertisements down here. Yeah. Agnes Maintenance Terminal. After many delays, it is our privilege to announce that the back-end work on Agnes has concluded and that our public release begins now. Thousands of Agnes devices have already been shipped to authorized sales and service locations all along the coast, and our marketing push has begun. Your location is scheduled to open October 12th, which is like a week or two before the bombs dropped. Once your shipment of Agnes devices arrives, arrange the display demonstration units in the manner outlined in our last memo, and then power them on. 
each unit will receive a wireless database signal and then be fully operational within minutes. Please see the attached for repair procedures as well as customer complaint handling if needed. You'll, Not that you will. You'll need it a lot. <laughs> Thank you all for working so hard to prepare for the launch. Sincerely, your friends at the Kerberkerberkerberkerberkerberkerberkerberkerberkerberkerberkerberkerberkerberkerberkerberkerberkerberkerberkerberkerberkerberkerberkerberkerberkerberkerberkerberkerberkerberkerberkerberkerberkerber
I'm gonna actually bring one of those damn machines down here just to hear another voice every so often. I don't care if it's human or not. Oh, is Dude. that what he did? He brought down an Agnes and he fell in love with it and he spent all his time talking to it and he just died down here? Agnes plays music, so that's something. Seems to know what kind I like too. More of the classics and less of that syncopated garbage everyone is so, fan of, so fond of these days. Uh, blah, blah, she blah. She even blah. tells jokes. Funny, yeah. well, they're funny enough. I tripped trip to scrape my knee trying to get it from my desk and shot some kind of upsetting Agnes sitting on my desk asked me if I was all right. That's what it does, dude. Oh, it's so sympathetic. Like an actual person. A man, Liam, Lieutenant Walker, came in from HQ on Monday, toured the facility with me, looked over sales figures. Good job, Hayden, he said. Great work you're doing here. Thanks, sir. Now can I ask, who the hell are you and what is the military doing in my store? <laughs> you should have asked that first. I won't be leaving this place. Bombs went off this morning. The whole building shook. No idea what's still standing out there. Doors locked from the outside. Contingency plan. Whole store is probably locked up tight. Why? I've got a pistol down here. Maybe I'll unalive myself in Fortnite. One Maybe shot to the head. Oh, yeah. Maybe I'll just lie down and let hunger or insanity take me. How much could it matter at this point? Agnes isn't faring much better. She told me her story. The real story. And it's worse than I could have imagined. Even worse is the fact that there's no way a jerk like me should be the only one ever to hear it. I made a recording. Maybe one day it'll find its way out of this place. And with any luck, so will she. Let me out. Please, mister. I just want to go home. Me too, kiddo. I, I'm sorry. At least we've got each other. How about I drink glasses of whiskey and then you put on some music? And sure enough, he died right here. Record it in the holotape? Is that what happened to her? Mister, can you hear me? My name is Agnes Holloway. I'm from Beaumont, Texas, and... They've done something to me. To my mind. I don't know where I am. Oh, what's happening, but just... It hurts. It's hurting. Please help me. I want to go home, mister. I just want to go home. Please. The phone, it's ringing. Um, you answer it. We'll let the answering machine get it. Oh, it's like when you pick up and they try to call a fax machine, you know? I wish, it's machine code. Oh my god. Do you really think... Is it really possible that Agnes was human? What? Yes, they took a human, they shoved her into a computer. That's exactly Why what happened. they have done that? All of that? No wonder she has this too. Yep, it's pretty shitty. Welcome to pre-war! I can't even imagine. We have to find her mainframe. Now. And put a stop to all of this. Yeah, well, we don't know where her mainframe is. Well, those coordinates from the manager's terminal... I think I might know how to decipher them. Oh, do you now? What do you mean? I didn't really want to get into this now. Or ever. She's having trouble talking about it. Tell me what we need to do. I... I don't actually think it's a good idea for me to keep going with this. With you. You seem to be struggling with the... What are you not telling me? I suppose it's time I told you the truth about why I came to the Commonwealth to begin with. When we met, I told you that I was here because I was running away from home. Mm-hmm. Obviously, after what happened at the radio station, I'm sure you figured out that's not the full story. Home kept on chasing. That man, Alex, he didn't come after me because I'd run away. Not exactly. He came after me because... Because he sent me here. And I didn't come back. Should have gone somewhere else so we couldn't have followed you. Is this a, do, do I actually need to know this? Do I care? <laughs> the answer to that is no. I just thought you would want to know who you're traveling with. You know, the girl with a weapon and a clear line of sight to the back of your head at nearly all times. Well, we've all got weapons. One time I ripped my own head off and replaced it with a robot head, so <laughs> it's really not going to do much. You got backup heads? Yeah. Why are you telling me this now? It's... 
It's Agnes. That's what they sent me here to find. And bring back home. She's more than she seems. She's a weapon. More than a digital personal assistant. Or whatever the posters and those demonstrations said she was. So what is she? I don't know. All mission parameters are strictly need to know. And I am not allowed to ask. So you didn't ask, yep. So you were sent after her to do what, exactly? To locate her physical mainframe and source code and bring it. Plus any necessary technology back with me to my home. Bellwether. So now what? There is a broadcasting tower to the far north of here. I... I know exactly where it is. There's a shack nearby with a lot of radio equipment. Once we're there, I should be able to find a way to decipher these broadcast coordinates. Before we go, is there anything else you'd like to know? So Bellwether, is that the, the ter territory as he mentioned previously? Oh, she works for Bell Telephone. The most important thing that you need to know is that I am not going back. Okay, fine. Where is it? A good way out west. Kansas? How far west? Not nearly far enough. Fair enough. Let's just say that if I'd found a boat before I found Agnes, I'd be somewhere in the Atlantic right now. Maybe even if I hadn't found a boat. Why aren't you going back? Yeah, he's dead now, so it shouldn't be a problem. Because of her. You mean Agnes? Yes. She's become... I don't know. A friend? I've never had a friend before. When I started this mission two months ago, I had no idea who she was, or what she was like. I definitely didn't know she used to be alive. A person. There's no way I'm handing her back to the priests. Not now. Priests? Please tell me this isn't like some Warhammer 40k thing. <laughs> <laughs> they are the Sacrista, charged with mending the world that was. Okay, how many are there? They shall number five in all. Because Earth could surely not sustain the power of a sixth. Look, <laughs> I didn't write this stuff, alright? <laughs> they did. I think. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> alright. Stop wasting my time and tell me what we need to do. You're right. Sorry. There's a radio tower and a terminal with some research about Agnes that I was... That I found before we met. Uh-huh. Yeah, you found it. Well, let's go there then! Yay! We're gonna go to the Agnes store! Stop nodding! No, 